uh, welcome to all the press and uh, the industry leaders who have come to the press meet. Uh, I am Varun Bandi. I am the Joint Director at FTCCI and I am the officer in charge for this uh, exhibition which we are conducting. Uh, so this exhibition's name is industry, uh, in the Industrial Innovation and Technology Expo and uh, FTCCI is organizing it along with Government of Telangana and uh, FTCCI President Sri Anil Kumar, Anil Agarwalji will uh, pre uh, brief the press. Uh, Good morning. Welcome you all. You all know about FTCCI. It's 106 year old organization. We have been promoting business activities by actively interacting with the government. Our objective is to promote industry, commerce and trade and also protect the interest of the business community. In our 106 year old history, this is the first time we are organizing this expo with the support from the government of Telangana and supported by our Ministry of MSME, Government of India and TSIIC. This is Industrial Innovation and Technology Expo 2023. It will be one of its kind. It's not a regular expo. Lot of changes are taking place in the industry. Lot of innovation and technological advancement has been taken place to, to showcase the advancement, development, and whatever R&D has been done. So our concentration will be more on technological development to show to, to, show to the uh, participants. Where participants will show whatever uh, the technological advancement has taken place. It will be a B2B connect across India and abroad also. Moreover, we will be promoting startups and entrepreneurial enterprises. And also, we will be promoting indigenization to support Atma, Atma Nirbhar Bharat initiative. And this being the International Year of Millets, so we will be showcasing the millets, what governments, government has announced in the budget. Millet is a Sriyan. So importance of millets will also be showcased at, the, at our expo. The focus sectors are printing, packaging, food processing, renewable energy, and electric vehicles. I know what, we know all what is happening in the printing and packaging. With the revolution in so many sectors, let it be food, frozen food, pharma, or we can take uh, the sector as uh, electrical. All this requires innovative packaging and printing to showcase that we are concentrating on these two sectors and food is the another sector which we are concentrating. Lot of technological advancement has taken place in the food sector also. Renewable energy, we are seeing that the kind of development which has taken place in the renewable energy. I, I remember we used to, for a, setting up a one solar megawatt plant, one megawatt solar plant, we used to require 20 crores and six acres of land. But with the advancement of technology, now we are able to set up a solar, solar plant at four, four and a half crores within 3.75 acres. That is the advancement which is taking place. So we can show the showcase that our participants can showcase the technological advancements. Electric vehicles, we are seeing the kind of support the government is giving to electric vehicles. They, are, they, have, they have already made registration free, road tax free. It is 
like when we purchase any vehicle, it is the on-road uh, on price of the vehicle, any vehicle. But for on-road price of the vehicle, for electric vehicle is the showroom price itself. No other price is being added. Government is giving subsidy on this. It is nil duty for registration and road tax. So importance of electric vehicle is also gone up. And uh, so many charging stations for the charge for charging stations also, government is giving subsidy and lot of technological advancement in electric vehicles, batteries, life of the batteries has also gone up and the charging per charge, previously it used to be one hour, 100 hours, 150 hours. Now the batteries are coming which can uh, give life up to 400 hours, 500 hours, 500 kilometers, 400 kilometers. Previously, it used to be 100 kilometers, 150 kilometers. Now, new lithium batteries are coming up. So, our focus sectors are these five sectors, and this is one of its kind exhibition, one of its kind of expo will be there in Hyderabad. This is the first exhibition which we are doing, and in future also, every year on year on year, we will be doing similar kind of exhibitions, maybe depending on the sector. If there are any sector which has gone a tremendous change in the technological side, we will showcase that. So I hope if any questions are there, you can ask, please. What are the main objectives of this expo? To showcase the latest technology on and these five sectors. OK. And uh, how many visitors are uh, expected? We are expecting visitors in the range of 8,000 to 10,000 visitors we are expecting. And there will be 150 stalls. 8,000 to? 10,000 visitors. How three many days, stalls? This is a three days expo. 150 stalls. 150 stalls. Is there uh, any scope for uh, B2B agreements or uh, uh, special MOUs? Yeah, we are working on that. There will be. OK. Uh, any foreign delegates or any foreign countries? Yeah, we have written to few embassies and countries also. Hmm. And we are expecting delegations from foreign countries also. Is this the first of kind of expo or this is the? For us, Federation, it is the first expo, but it will be the first of its kind, one of its kind. Even the subject is also? Yeah, subject is also very unique. Only we are concentrating on five sectors, which are actually uh, the sunrise sectors now, we can say, if, as far as technological development is concerned. OK. Uh, uh, how many uh, government agencies uh, are participating in this? TSIC is our partner. They have supported us. And we have written to state governments, various state governments across country. They have shown some uh, interest in our expo also. Regional chambers. Regional chambers also we have written. OK. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And your technological development has gone up. Jo pahle ho rahe the, utne nahi ho rahe abhi. There are limited uh, number of incidents which we agree. But anyhow, proper care is, I think, technology will take care of this also. And uh, EV is the future now. Aap main samajh toh agle decade mein aapko ye gaadiyan dikhenge bhi nahi abhi. Jo this kind of vehicles are coming. Now, you know that 500, 600 kilometers range ke recharge ke gaadiyan aagaya hai abhi. Previously, it was 100 kilometers, 150, 200. Now, the, it has gone up. Bada gaya hai abhi. Kaafi bada gaya hai abhi. Ha, humare paas, we are planning for some conferences also during the exhibition so that we can discuss all these aspects also in that. Will I? Uh, good morning, everyone. I just wanted to add uh, for your query, sir, what are the objectives of the expo? 
See, our main objective is to uh, promote the innovations and technology adoption among the MSMEs. So we are inviting MSMEs to showcase their innovations and also to adopt the innovations that are already occurred in the market. So this will provide them a platform to get to know what is happening in other uh, the, the R&D area or innovations in technology area. So that uh, it's not that MSMEs only exhibit. The big companies, the R&D com <coughs> companies will come and they will showcase the innovations. Even MSMEs, wherever there are happenings, uh, or the innovations are happening, they will also showcase their innovations and technology upgradations. So this will benefit, in turn, the other MSMEs, which are not into the technological uh, improvements in their respective units. So what what is the our main aim is to uh, make MSMEs, whether it is a micro, it has to go up to small. If it is a small, it has to go up to uh, medium. And if it is a medium, it has to go up to large scale. So this will help them how to improve their productivity, how to scale up their production, how to reach the new markets. And uh, it will provide them a good platform to connect and explore the various opportunities that are available to them. So that is a major purpose. So uh, we've written, I mean, we met the Sharjah delegation who was here in Hyderabad. And they have a fantastic 3D printing facility and technology. So which probably Hyderabad would have never witnessed. So such innovation, such technology is going to be showcased here. And uh, uh, they are, in Sharjah, they are do, uh, printing houses, not just equipment. They are printing houses. So things like that. And also, we'll have in uh, electric vehicles, we have battery manufacturers who are innovating. I mean, we just know lithium ion batteries and et cetera. There, there's future of, uh, I mean, the next level of battery technology you can witness. There are companies who will come showcase these technologies, which probably is not in the market and that is going to be showcased here. And even renewable energy, Solar has been promoted by TS Redco very extensively, but not there is no uh, uh, place where you know they di they can come directly do it like you know this is a this is a stage for them where new solar companies who are venturing into solar and especially in south there is a lot of scope and this is what they are going to showcase here and about uh, state pavilions we've written to almost 15 states of which. Uh, at least 30% are positive. Their industrial development uh, uh, corporations, like MPDIC, they are—I mean—they are going to set up state pavilions where they will showcase four to five startups who will showcase their innovations. So, end of the day, B2B across the country is what we are expecting. Other than that, uh, the international delegations who will have their own uh, podiums and they will set up their own. Uh, they will showcase what they are good at, basically. So Sharjah, they are good at 3D printing. Uh, Afghanistan is good at something else. So end of the day, in these five sectors, this will be the main focus. Afghanistan, Afghanistan probably is in some other. I'm just saying they are good at something, probably bomb making. But this is, I mean, <laughs> this, in these sectors, whatever countries are there, they'll do that. Thank Ajah. you. And uh, Indonesia, they are good in food processing. Yeah, they are good in food processing. Uh, Consul General from Bombay, he has visited Mumbai recently, has visited, like, uh, 15 days back he has visited. So he, he also expresses interest. Turkey is there. Turkey Consul, he, we have got very good relations. They, are, they have also shown interest. Vietnam, we have, been, we have taken our delegation to Vietnam. So they're also there. Uh, they also came here for BioAsia. At that time, they visited our premises also. Iran, we have got very good relations with Iran. So all the consulates, they have shown and they have expressed their interest in this expo. South Africa, South Africa. recently then uh, consul was here, trade commissioner was here. And all the state governments, as our joint director has said, we have written to all the state governments, they have shown interest. MP government is very much interested yeah, MP government is uh, is interested. 
looking forward gujarat they are they may be interested we have already written to them సో అన్వీలింగ్ ద లోగో ఫర్ ఐటెక్స్ there is also a very short film about uh, the uh, expo uh, that also will be played now సార్ రిక్వెస్ట్ అవర్ పాస్ట్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ శ్రీ విఎస్ రాజు గారు అండ్ అవర్ ఎంసీ మెంబర్ శ్రీ రూపేష్ అగర్వాల్ గారు టు ఆల్సో జాయిన్ ద అన్వైలింగ్ ఆఫ్ ది పోస్టర్ there are any questions regarding the expo we'll be happy to answer your questions so please if any of the media wants to ask any questions they are welcome
वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून नैन मीला जयदेव सीनियर वैस प्रेस एफटीसीसीआई इंडस्ट्रिय इनोवेशन अं टेक्नजी फस्ट टाइम नूट ईदे तरवा नूट ईद चर कल एफटीसी फस्ट टाइम मे स्टार्ट मेरी को गर्वकारण चला चला थैंक्स एंकंटे एदना प्रजल की तेपाले फस्ट मीडिया मित्रू वालने काफिडें प्रजल की अंदे मीरंत मम्मल ने एंकरेजे इधला मुंदल के मंटे मीके दिन मंच पब्लिटी इस्ते प्रजक चला मेल कलगेला मैं दीन द्वारा पारिश्रमिकवे चंडस्ट्रीस स्टार्टअप कंपनी एवर वो क्रोता वालू अनकूल का उल्सल टेक्नजी क्रोत क्रोत टेक्नजी सेमेमी मेमेटे नूट याबे स्टाल रकर ईद रकल डिफरेंट डिफरेंट इधटा की प्रयत्न चुनाव दाखिल मत मैक्सीम एंतर की चेलो अंतर चे पब्लिक बी टू बी की प्लस क्रोत क्रोत रकम मिशन इंट्रडक्षक लाइक प्रिंटिंग का पैकेजिंग का इवन चेयटा की प्रयत्न चुनाव प्रस्तुत में तेलंगा अत्यधिक वरी एक्व पड़ी दाने बै प्रोडक्ट वस्तनाई अला रकर मिशन वस्तनाई वरी तो इन मन पिंडलून तैयार चेटा की लेटेस्ट टेक्नजी लेटेस्ट टेक्नजी मिलल वस्तनाई अवी तीस मन एक्सपोर्ट चेयटा की चला अवकाश इपड़ अला पटल बनाई तोटल ड्रिप इरीगेशन तो तोटल बनाई अन्नी रकल फ्रूट्स रकर फ्रूट्स मन को अभी फ्रूट्स बैठ नीचे वाई इप्ड अभी इकड़े वस्तनाई अभी एक्सपोर्ट चेयटा तैयार वाट पैकेजिंग एट्ला अब एट डेवलप वाटी विवर मे दाटो फुट प्रासे दाटो मैं चुनाव तरवा प्रिंट परश्रम प्रिंट अने ओनली न्यूज पेपर का प्रिंट उ मन दर फार्मा कंपनी मन दर चला प्रपंच मन की मंजी पेर वे फार्मा कंपनी दाख प्रिंट अवसर मंदल बाक्स तैयार चेयर दाखिल प्रिंट अवसर टाबेट लपल्लना पैन वेदा प्रिंट अवसर दाँड टेक्नजी चाल क्रोत वाई अवी दींट मे चूपेदल दाट क्रोत क्रोत वाला अवकाश तरवा मैगजीन का यदा प्रिंट चाल फास्ट इधर चेदा की इपट इंका डेवलप इंका इंका डेवलप वाटे तरवा थ्री डी प्रिंट टेक्नजी वाले कास्टिंग हई प्रिंट मिशन कास्ट प्रोडक्ट को वेसर के लज स्के प्रिंट रेट तुनाई इवन मीडिया मित्र मन मीडिया मित्र प्रजाक मैक्सीम कवरेज वस्तु मेम टेक्नजी एट उपयोग मेमंदर चुप्त थैंक यू वेरी मच फर् आपर्चुन फर् गिवे So uh, we'll be taking any questions. Uh, इनका मैं मैं इपड़े start चेस ना करें इनका मैं booking start चेस लेते हैं start चेस से कहने एक एक अन्य चंतों से नए नए दिमाग का maximum one month लो final figure होते हैं ना इंडे
డైరెక్ట్ డైరెక్ట్ అండి ఇంకా క్రియేట్ చేయలేదండి లాంచింగ్ ద వెబ్సైట్ ఆల్సో దేనికండి స్టాల్స్ ఛార్జెస్ అండి ఛార్జెస్ ఉంటాయి అది స్క్వేర్ మీటర్ మేము క్యాల్కులేషన్స్ అన్నీ వేస్తున్నాము డిపెండ్ ఆన్ సైజ్ని బట్టి అదంతా డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ చేస్తున్నాము యా ఇట్స్ ఆల్రెడీ దేర్ ఇన్ ద బ్రాచర్ ఆల్సో ఇట్స్ ఆల్రెడీ దేర్ ఇన్ ద బ్రాచర్ అండ్ బిఫోర్ ద ఎక్స్పో ఆల్సో నైన్ స్క్వేర్ మీటర్ నైంటీ ఫైవ్ థౌజండ్ అండి అండ్ బిఫోర్ ద ఎక్స్పో ఆల్సో దెర్ విల్ బి వన్ ప్రెస్ మీట్ ఆల్సో సో ఫైనల్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ మొత్తం హౌ మెనీ ఫారెన్ డెలిగేట్స్ ఆర్ హౌ మెనీ ఫారెన్ కంపెనీస్ అండ్ హౌ మెనీ అక్రాస్ ఇండియా హౌ మెనీ కంపెనీస్ హ్యావ్ కమ్ హౌ మెనీ లోకల్ కంపెనీస్ హ్యావ్ పార్టిసిపేటెడ్ వీ విల్ కమ్ టు నో ఎట్ దట్ టైమ్ ప్లేస్ టుడే ఓన్లీ వీ హ్యావ్ లాంచ్ అవర్ లోగో ఇట్ ఇస్ ఆన్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ ట్వంటీ నైన్త్ అండ్ థర్టీఎత్ ఆఫ్ జూన్ ఎక్స్పో టెక్స్టైల్స్ చూడాలండి అది ఇది ఫస్ట్ టైం చేస్తున్నాం కదా ఈడితే లేదు టెక్స్టైల్స్ ఎగ్జిబిషన్ అంటున్నారా దాన్ని మనం ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ చేస్తున్నారా అలా నెక్స్ట్ టైం ఏమైనా చూస్తున్నారా అది ఇమీడియట్లీ అయితే ఫస్ట్ ఇది అయిపోయిన తర్వాత నెక్స్ట్ ఎట్లా చేయాలనేది ఇప్పుడు దీంట్లో మేము ఫైవ్ ఫోకస్ ఏరియాలు పెట్టాము ఆ ఫైవ్ ఫోకస్ ఏరియాలు ఇప్పుడు చేస్తున్నాము సో వీ ఆర్ కవరింగ్ ఓన్లీ ఫైవ్ సెక్టర్ సార్ దిస్ టైమ్ ప్రింటింగ్ ప్యాకింగ్ ఫుడ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ రెన్యూబుల్ ఎనర్జీ అండ్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ వెహికల్స్ ఈ ఐదింటి మీద ఇప్పుడు ఫోకస్ చేస్తున్నాం అండి ప్రజెంట్గా ముందు ముందు ఎట్లా ఇది ఎలా వస్తుంది మాకు కూడా కొత్తగా అనుభవం రావాలి కదా ఇన్ దిస్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఫైవ్ సెక్టర్స్ ఎనీ మెషినరీ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరర్ wants to exhibit they can exhibit or any product finished product they want to exhibit they can exhibit yeah. okay packaging my we request you to please join for lunch place thank you yeah in informal interaction we'll have focusing on five sectors innovation industrial innovation and technological expo 2023 this will be one of its kind exhibition focusing their r&d research and development and the technology advancement which has taken place in these five sectors as you all know that ours is a 106 year old organization and in this 106 years this is the first time we are organizing this expo we are expecting a footfall of 8 to 10000 participants uh, visitors and we are having 150 stalls we have invited various state government across the country and we have written to several countries and their embassies in india to actively participate in the exhibition and send the delegation also this being the exhibition focusing on latest developments innovations particularly msme sectors they can showcase their products they can showcase their innovative products and connect across india and abroad 
as we all know telangana is a hub for startups also to promote startups and to also show their products this exhibition will be very useful and to promote indigenization and to promote the atmanirbhar bharat initiative this exhibition will be one of its kind and 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 we are hopeful that with this exhibition there will be lot of visibility to all the sectors to all the five focus sectors what about this young entrepreneurs should be useful for this oh young entrepreneurs yeah since we are focusing on innovation and technology and msme lot of young entrepreneurs and startups they can also showcase their products they can uh, they can participate and they can visit the exhibitions to know about the latest technologies technological developments so i hope uh, and we are expecting <coughs> eight to 10 stalls from the government side and some few maybe four or five foreign stalls also we are expecting and delegation also we are expecting since we are having very good relations with uh, uh, many embassies they have got their offices in hyderabad so we have got very good relations with them and they have shown and they have expressed their interest in the exhibition so uh, we are very positive and need your support for the success of the exhibition thank you